Hey, you know what, guys? You're not gonna see the ending because my screen, my recorder doesn't want to do it. So I'm gonna. E that ends the entire thing. Okay, well, um, I guess this is kind of a good thing. I can show you guys where he is on the map. He is somewhere in this quadrant of the map. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why are you going to show the ending? Oh, don't worry, folks. I'll probably edit the ending into this somehow, but, like, without commentary. The only reason why, it's because I already recorded the ending. And my, um, capture card had an unknown failure. So, um, I'm going to be lazy with this LP. Like, I might play through it again to show you guys the ending of it completely. So I don't feel like a dick. But, um, no, no, no. You're just gonna get the final boss for right now because this is ridiculous. People are like, ah, but we want to see you suffer. Nope, no. You're not gonna see me suffer. This is, this was bullshit when I first did it. This is gonna be bullshit when I do it now. It's like, oh, we don't want to see time attack. It's a poopy thingy that shouldn't be implemented in this game. You know what? No, because um, this saves me a bit of the time attack, really. And yes, my original plan for the, the LP is to do time attack later, too. So, um, you guys are getting a, a lucky because I would never do this normally for an LP. Um, so, yeah, this is the final fight. I'm doing the time attack move right now because, um, as I said, I'm a very angry beaver. And do not take that as in the cartoon Angry Beavers, because that ca cartoon's awesome. But no, I am a legitimate Angry Beaver. I, I just don't know what to say at this point. I am about ready to kill something. This is the second time that my capture has failed me with Shadow of the Colossus and at this flight. So two times this Colossus just felt like being a dick and corrupting my file. Um, so yeah, it's a very tragic scene. This is, uh, where Aggro dies. Um, Aggro dies, blah blah blah. Uh, he falls off the cliff before this fight, so you have to climb alone. So, one. Okay, he usually fires the second one. That's kind of weird. Don't feel like doing it today, buddy? One. One. Okay. Okay. So there. So we're making some good time on him. He only fired one. He usually fires two there. Um, so as you see, the upper right shows you the time limit. How long you, it takes, or how long you should beat him in. So this is obviously the quick little time attack mode. Nothing special. Oh, and if I don't get the ending into this video, what happens, uh, there's a priest who uh, gets the sword, you turn into Dormin, you gotta play as Dormin for about two minutes, and then stuff happens. Okay, and then after that, you're getting sucked into a, a portal. If you dodge it for a minute, you get a trophy in the PlayStation 3. If you're playing on the PS2, don't bother, just get sucked in. Um... And then the credits roll, you see how many people made the game, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, this is pretty cool for a game like this. I, I love it. And since I'm not going to show the ending credits, and pro I'll probably make a separate video for them later. But my review so far of the game is obviously a perfect 8 out of 10 for me. That's I know it should be a 10 out of 10 for a perfect view, but blah, blah, blah. Uh, the music's amazing. The atmosphere is really good. And if you like any games like this, this is definitely um, a good thing for you if you like puzzle boss fighting games. Sort of like Legend of Zelda in a way, but it's totally not Legend of Zelda. And you can't jump up to that crap. Oh wait, yeah, you gotta have something to stick your feet onto. That works too, like that. So you can get the balance and jump up. Um, so yeah, this is a very Legend of Zelda-ish, um, very style of game. It's sort of like Okami in a way, but Okami has different aspects of it that makes it unique. This is just, uh, oh shit, I'm gonna die. I better do what they tell me to do. So pretty much what you want to do is just climb up here, 
climb up this giant scale colossus is actually the biggest colossus, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it's pretty big, it's really fun. Stab him in the back. Don't even grab on if you can. If you can, avoid grabbing on to maximize your uh, skills on this. And I missed. He's supposed to grab his hand, his monkey hand. Now here's where the fight gets very fun and very interesting. Now, first time players aren't going to guess what to do here. Pretty much what happens, you climb his monkey hand, stab it. Just lightly stab it. Don't do anything unique. Don't go for a full stab. And then jump on its arm. Go up to its uh, shoulder here, or its little breast plating, I don't know. And jump to the other hand. Now from here, you're going to have to do the same thing. But as you can see, you can't cross the fire. So here's where it gets a bit tricky, and not too many people are going to remember this. Pretty much the weakness is on his uh, shoulder. So we're going to grab, grab your arrows. Grab your arrows. Aim right about there. Fire. And really fast, switch the sword. Get a little higher on his um, body, or his uh, hand. Jump here. Jump over here. Get on his shoulder. Get on his back plate. Jump to his skull and continue to stab it. If you can, do little short stabs. It makes it more easy and it's more effective to do short stabs. As you see, he likes to shake. Me, he doesn't like giving you a chance to stab him. So, yeah, this is the ideal way to kill him. So yeah, he's almost dead. And boom, if anyone wants to try to beat my time, go right ahead. Like, I'm, I'm going to be up for this. If anyone can beat my time, what I did, that would be kind of interesting to see how people do this. So please leave video responses, blah, blah, blah. I will have um, a challenge for all the time attacks. I probably won't do my best for all of them, but I'll try to do a majority of them pretty well. And they'll never take me alive! Um, I can't see where I am. Maybe that's kind of... Okay, good. Yeah, there. I'm right there. And so, if you do another uh, boss uh, a time attack, you get items. You have to do every one of them to get item. Like, you'll maximize your stuff. So, pretty much, that's it. I'll post any in a separate video or something.